Thank you for joining us again today in Searching the Scriptures. We often are asked questions concerning the Scriptures and have no interest in social events in mentioning them on this program. Now, of course, we're interested in our lives and the social way in which we live, but you have joined us to study the Bible, not for us to give you our attitude or idea of what's going on in the world socially. We want to search the scriptures and answer questions of a religious nature to teach Christ and Him crucified. And in doing so, we're going to be straightforward. And also, as we're straightforward, we're going to be determining to do what God's Word teaches. We're not going to give you our opinions. And we're going to do this weekly. And it will appear on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, as well as our website www.portsandlucychurchofchrist.com So we're going to state the question and then give the Bible answer. The question today is what language does God speak? I run into a lot of people as you do I'm sure that tell you that God talks to them. I asked a guy one day in what language did God speak to you? He looked at me kind of strange and he said, well, my language. Well, this individual was a Spanish person who spoke the Spanish language. English well enough for us to converse. But my question was, why didn't God speak to you in English? Why didn't he speak to you in Greek? Well, he said, then I wouldn't have understood it. Well, if... God has to flavor his language to be in a particular language. What record do we have of God speaking to people and in what language did he speak? Now the only thing I can find God used in speaking to individuals and persons was the Hebrew language. On the road to Damascus when Saul of Tarsus was going to hail men and women and cause them to lose their homes, their lives, their children, their property, everything else that they had, or deny Jesus Christ. Jesus spake to Paul in the Hebrew language. Now the Jews that were with Paul were trapped and couldn't speak the Hebrew language, couldn't understand what Jesus said to Saul of Tarsus. Saul tells us this in Acts 26 chapter as the 22nd and the 19th relate, two different accounts. One said they heard the voice, the other said they didn't. Somebody said, well, there's confusion here, contradiction. We knew the Bible wasn't the Word of God. We knew we'd find something wrong with it. Well, there's a difference in hearing the noise and comprehending what it means. My wife and I have been blessed to raise children. She was particularly attuned to the cry of our children when they were young. She could tell whether it was a cry of hunger or whether it was a cry of pain or whether it was a cry of being spoiled. Yeah, they had all three. And she would be able to decipher a whole lot quicker than I could. You see, when people are understanding the will of God and they say God speaks to them, just point blank ask them, in what language did he speak? Well, now the only record we have of God speaking to individuals in the New Testament time was in the Hebrew tongue. Would you think that God would change languages and speak to somebody in the English tongue? Well, what good would the Hebrew have with God speaking to him in the English? Or what good would the Greeks? Or what good would the Russians? Or what good would the people in India have with God speaking to them in English. Mm -hmm. That's the beauty of our being able to have the scriptures translated into so many different languages. These scriptures have made it possible for all of us who speak different languages to read the words of God, which he gave the apostles in the first century in the language that we speak and can read. But what God speaks is the tongues of men and angels, 
Now, there's a lot of people that think that when they speak in ecstatic glossalia, that is tongue speaking, and that is acting as though God has done something for them he's not done for anybody else, and therefore they can speak in tongues. And they don't understand these tongues are gibberish. But they think God is speaking through them. Have you ever noticed that there's nobody speaks in Hebrew? When these tongue speakers speak? Wouldn't you think that that might be a problem? Do you not notice that they never speak in Greek? Now, as the New Testament was written, it was written in the Greek language, Koine Greek. Would you kind of think that it uh, might be that God would be speaking today if he was, as he did in the first century, in the Greek language? So there would be no confusion or change of thought or understanding? Or if I'm a Russian and God spoke to me in English, what good would that do me? No more good than it did those on the road to Damascus that were with Saul of Tarsus who heard the voice but did not understand the message. Therefore, they couldn't be obedient as Saul of Tarsus could. So Jesus came to Saul of Tarsus and spoke to him in a Hebrew tongue. I believe if we looked in the scriptures, we could pretty well find that pretty simply. And if I'm not mistaken, it's an Acts to 26th chapter and about verse 14 when we were all fallen to the earth I heard a voice speaking unto me and saying in the Hebrew tongue Saul Saul why persecutest thou me it is hard for thee to kick against the pricks and when Saul of Tarsus heard that those that were with him didn't as to understand it let me read that to you. Turn to Acts, the 22nd chapter, and you will see that it came to pass as I made my journey, verse 6, and was come nigh to Damascus about noon. Suddenly there shone from heaven a great light round about me. And I fell to the ground and heard a voice saying unto me, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? Verse 9, they that were with me saw indeed the light and were afraid, but they heard not the voice. I've got to finish this because in Acts 9, when Saul is telling, or it's been told this story by Luke, the same uh, thing is being said. And Saul rose from the earth and he said, And the men which, verse 7, Acts 9 and verse 7, and the men which journeyed with me stood speechless, hearing a voice, but seeing no man. So you see, the contradiction is not in the scriptures, the contradiction is the understanding. So in what language does God speak? Well, of course, God can speak in any language he wants to. That's not the point. The point is, in what language did he speak? Well, we have him on record in speaking in Aramaic, Greek, and Hebrew. We never have Jesus Christ on record in speaking English, or French, or German. Why would he change? When the scriptures that he has given have been translated into those languages, it shows us that he has never intended to convey a message separate and apart from the scriptures, the word of God. In what language does God speak? The language of the translation that you need to read in whatever language you speak. If we can help you understand the scriptures, we don't speak in all the languages of the world, but we know people who can and speak differing languages, let us help you. We'd be glad to do that. Join us next week.